The TC Electronic Iron Curtain Noise Gate Pedal is a very simple and effective noise gate pedal for the electric guitar. At the time of making this video, this is probably one of the cheapest noise gate pedals available for the guitar, so I wanted to check it out and see if it was worth it. We'll go through the controls, build quality, and sound samples from this pedal, and if you want to check it out or get one, there will also be links in the video description. Before continuing with this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to turn on notifications to see all our new videos. I recently picked up this noise gate pedal to add to my pedal board so I had a way to manage some of my excess noise that's created by my guitars. I have a few different guitars I work with, but some of them have single coil pickups which produce a 60 cycle hum. This isn't always an issue, but it can be annoying at times, especially if you're playing on a guitar amp with a lot of gain, so this pedal presents an easy way to get rid of that noise whenever I stop playing. As far as ease of use, the Iron Curtain Noise Gate is probably the simplest guitar pedal I've used. There's only two knobs on it and it's really straightforward to set up, but also very effective and controllable. The threshold knob sets the level that the noise gate activates. If the level is below this point, the noise gate will activate and reduce the signal passing through it to quiet it down. If it's above this point, then it will just allow the guitar signal to pass through so we can play normally. We want to set the threshold to a level that's above the noise so the noise from our guitar doesn't open the gate, but below the lowest signal level will play. This can change based on the output level from the guitar, so we may want a higher threshold if we're playing chords versus quiet finger picking. That way the gate activates when we need it to, but it doesn't start to close down on our signal between notes or cut off the end of a chord very early. We can visually see when the noise gate is reducing our signal since the LED light will light up. The light turns on when the pedal switch is activated and the signal is below the threshold, but the light turns off when the signal goes above the threshold since the noise gate is no longer reducing the signal. The next control is for the decay. When the signal drops below the threshold, the noise gate doesn't activate immediately. Instead, the signal level kind of fades down to a reduced level. The decay sets how fast this happens so we can have it cut off pretty quick, or reduce very slow to a point where it's almost not noticeable that the noise gate is activating and it just sounds like our chords are fading out. One thing to note is that the noise gate doesn't completely block the signal when it turns on. It just drops it down to a really low level. We can see this when we set the gate to a high threshold so it stays activated, but play at a lower level. In this case, we can still hear a little bit of the signal going through, but it's quiet. Let's listen now to how adjusting the threshold and decay can affect our sound.
The connectivity of this pedal is really simple. It has a single input and output for the guitar. There's no stereo inputs, but that's not something that's necessary for this type of pedal, since it is intended to be used at the beginning of the pedal board signal chain before the guitar would be split to a stereo signal. For powering the pedal, we have the option to use a 9 volt power adapter, which is what I would recommend, or a 9 volt battery. The one annoying thing about this pedal is that it does require a screwdriver to access the battery compartment to change the battery, and you basically have to take the whole pedal apart, so that's why I definitely suggest a power supply instead. The pedal is completely made out of metal with a metal switch, and the only plastic on it is the knobs, so it's well built and should be very durable. For my overall impressions, I do think this is a very good noise gate pedal for the price, and it's super simple to use on my pedal board. I can just set the level to where I need it for the guitar, turn it on, and forget about it. The build quality is really nice for the price, and I think this pedal will also hold up really well. Thanks for checking out this video on the TC Electronic Iron Curtain Noise Gate Electric Guitar Pedal. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to the pedal and social media accounts.